Hey guys, thanks for joining me today as we look at different ways to be the church without the building. I know this is really odd times for everybody and we're all trying to kind of come up with the best solutions and for Sunrise Family Ministry, we're trying to partner with you right inside the comfort of your living room so that way you can continue to grow in your faith together. For children's ministry specifically, we're going to offer two videos every week. One's going to come out in the middle of the week, and that's going to include a great Bible story presented in a creative way, along with maybe a craft or a game, and definitely with a challenge so that way your family can get in on the action from your home as well. For the weekends, we're going to continue on with our regular Sun Kids programming and present to you guys the lesson and then also links to the PDFs for the weekly downloads, for the ways to play the games, and also for the crafts that happen there. So be sure to check those out at sunrisefamily.org underneath the Family Ministry tab. You know, I know this is really difficult for everybody and everybody's getting kind of stir crazy, but I really think the silver lining out of all of this is going to be how we grow together, not just as a community, but how our families grow together and really walk alongside each other through this journey. So I'm excited to join you today. I hope that you enjoy everything that we're putting together and I really hope you like today's lesson. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. For today's story, I got Pastor Amy, my good friend, to join us, and I'm really excited to talk to you guys about working through some anxieties and fears. Hey, Amy, thanks for coming in. It's so fun. Yeah, so what we're going to talk about today is uh, we were brainstorming some ideas, and Amy remembered this really neat story from the Bible about whenever Jesus calms the sea. And I thought that would be a great opportunity to talk about different ways that we work through our anxieties and fears also. So she brought some of her toys from home and I brought some of my toys and um, I'm gonna set up the story for you guys and then you'll get to kind of see us play it out. Does that sound good, Amy? That sounds great. All right, so back whenever Jesus was teaching, uh, it wasn't really that uncommon for him to have really long days, right? He would talk to lots and lots of people um, for a long time and all the disciples would be with him. But as you can imagine, he would get really, really tired sometimes. Have you guys ever gotten really, really tired? Probably after a long day at school or maybe a time that you got to go to the park and run around. Amy, I'm talking. Uh, you got to run around all day and maybe you had some lunch and your belly was full or, oh, don't even get me started on Six Flags. You go to Six Flags for hours on end and it's so hard not to fall asleep in the car afterwards. Well, that's the kind of day that Jesus was having. He had this really long day, he had done a lot of work, and he was getting really tired, but he knew it was important for them to get ready for the next day. So he told his disciples to go ahead and get the boats ready, and they were going to cross the sea as they prepared to get to go to a new city and meet lots of new people. And that's where our story really begins. Oh my gosh, what a busy day we've had. I can't remember the last time I was this tired. I know. I've been doing so much lately, Jesus. Maybe we should just all lay down here and take a nap. No, no, no. We can't do that. There's still so much to do. Let's get the boats ready and go to the other side of the sea. I don't know, Jesus. We're really tired. Come on, come on. Let's get moving. There'll be time to rest later. All right, come on, guys. Let's go get the boats ready. I think I'm going to rest my eyes for a little bit. Don't mind me while I lay down right here. Oh, it looks like there's a storm coming on. Hopefully it isn't too bad. Oh my gosh, this is really getting crazy. Oh no, this is a big storm. Jesus is sleeping. What are we going to do? You get him up. No, no, you wake him up. No, you wake him up. Fine, 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 I'll do it. Jesus, how can you be sleeping? Jesus, wake up! Wake up, Jesus! Don't you even care that the storm is here? We're all really, really scared! Ah! Ugh. What's going on? Oh my gosh, look at the storm! Oh! Storm, be quiet! Be still! Why are you all so afraid? Don't you know that I'm here with you? Don't you understand that I will protect you? Do you still not understand who I am? Oh my gosh, even the wind and the rains, they obey Jesus too. You see, when you are afraid, you can always trust on me. 
Wow. That was definitely different um, and fun and kind of silly and goofy. <laughs> Did you guys see how Jesus was able to keep calm the storm just by telling it to be quiet? That is so incredible. I think that's so amazing. And I think that it's really important for us to remember um, that he's so strong. You know, right now there's a lot of scary things going on in the world, things that could give us anxiety. And it's important to remember that God is really more powerful than all of that. And so I want to share a story with you guys about a time that I got scared and Jesus helped me through. So one time, whenever I was younger, actually for a while, I used to be really scared to go to bed. Uh, I would have nightmares at night and it was really hard for me not to close my eyes and think of something scary. <clears throat> and so to help me through that, I started praying during those times. And whenever I would start praying to Jesus about being scared or helping me with it, then he was really helped calm my nerves and that helped me out a lot. Amy, can you think of a time that you were scared? Oh, yes. You know, I, I remember a time when I was in a city in a different country and it was nighttime, so it was very dark. And on top of all of that, it was raining and thunderstorming. Oh and I was walking through this city trying to find my hotel and I was so, so scared. And I remember too praying as I was walking and asking God to be with me and to protect me and keep me safe. And you know what? God did. Oh, oh my gosh, that is so cool. What about you, Collins? Do you have a story you'd like to share about when you get scared? Um, in the nighttime, I'm scared of the dark. Yeah, mm. it's really common to be scared of the dark. I know sometimes I'm scared of the dark too. Me Thanks too. for sharing that. Mm -hmm. I bet you guys all have something that you're scared of too, right? And I know, like I said, that there's lots of different things going on in this world. Some of you guys are having to stay home from school and you've never really had to do that before. Or maybe you can't go to the park like you're used to. <clears throat> maybe just seeing friends is really hard. But I want you guys to remember that during these times of uncertainty, that Jesus is still here for you. And he's here to help us overcome those anxieties and fears. You know, there's a Bible verse that really talks really well about this. And I kind of want to make this a memory verse for us. So I'll say it to you guys once, and then I'll have you repeat it with me a couple times, and we'll see if it helps out at all, all right? So it's Psalm 56.3, <clears throat> and it says, When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. So we say that again. When, when I, I am afraid, afraid I, put I put my, my trust, trust in you. you. All right, let's try it one more time. When, when I, I am afraid, afraid I put, put my trust, trust in you. you, right? So it's always good to remember that we are so lucky to have the God that loves us and cares about us and wants nothing but the best, that he's working really hard, even in times when we might be scared, to make sure that we're safe, and he's always there to listen. Anytime you want to pray or think about him or maybe open the Bible and read some stories with mom and dad, so I really encourage you during this time, if you're feeling any kind of anxiety or fear, to sit down and spend some time with God. You know, you can do it with mom and dad. I'm sure they'd love to pray with you or whoever's taking care of you right now. And just really spend that time refocusing on him. And I have a really cool idea too. This is kind of a little challenge, all right? And I want to see how you guys are dealing with being at home. Okay, so you got to see Amy and I play with our fun toys, lots of fun, and um, you got to see us do lots of cool stuff and pretend to be Jesus and use our, our Ken dolls and our WWE and even Kristoff is Jesus. Um, I want to see what you guys have at home right now too. So my challenge for you is to get some way to record a video, whether it's with your phone or with, my, or with computers or something you have, a camera, and make a little video for us to share, right? So we're kind of all in this together. It's a big community still, and I want you guys to create a video. It could be a favorite Bible story, or it could be something that you're scared of, or um, just a fun time you guys are having with siblings or whoever you're with right now. And take that video, and then I want you to email me at family at sunrisefamily.org. I'll say that again for uh, all the adults out there. Family at sunrisefamily.org. Email me whenever you have the video and then we'll find a way for you to get it to us. And then we'll take it and we'll share it on the Facebook page, the Family Ministry Facebook Ooh, page. BJ, what do you think would be a good Bible story that you'd love to see? <clears throat> Ooh, one of my favorite Bible stories is Jonah and the Whale. Ooh, I love that one. Or Daniel and the Lion's Den. Daniel would be a great one. I can't wait to see all these videos. I know. It's going to be so cool. So I'm really encouraging you guys, while you have some time this week, to go ahead and uh, create those videos, send them in. And, um, and following this video, I'm going to show you guys a neat craft that goes with today's story um, that you can make with 
with stuff that you already have at home. So thanks for joining us this week. We'll have another video for you with weekend lessons. And um, I can't wait to see everything you guys are coming up with. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Ben. That's right. This is Crafty Time with the two Bens. So thanks for joining us. You just got done hearing a story about a time when Jesus' disciples were really scared. Um, a big storm came, right? And Jesus kind of calmed on the waves. You remember that story, Ben? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a cool story. We've all heard it before. Um, you got to see a new way for it to be introduced. But today, we want to make a craft for you guys that will remind you that Jesus can calm us during the storm. Do you know what this is? Yes. What is it? It is... A rain stick. Very good. It's a rain stick. And we found some very simple, easy tools that you can uh, use at home to make them. It doesn't take much. Uh, I did about a half cup of brown rice, but you can use beans also. Um, a tube from a, this was paper towels. You can use wrapping paper. If you're really uh, feeling in the mood and generous, you can use a toilet paper one, even though those are hard to find right now. Um, you're probably going to need a funnel, some packing tape, and just some aluminum foil. Um, there's lots of different ways to make this, but we thought this way was cool. So Ben's going to show us how to make it. I'm going to kind of walk him through the steps, and I hope at home you guys can join us. So, um, right. Ben? So this is a paper towel roll. Correct. Just like he said. All right. So what we're going to do is you make a bottom to it so that the rice can't fall out and the rain can be stuck in there. Yep, in fact, I would suggest double upping up on that tape okay. so that we put one one way, one the other way, and kind of stack it together. Super simple and easy, right? All right, flip it over. And so now you put aluminum foil on it to make it a little bit more loud because rain, our rain has to always hit like metal and the waves of the right. ocean. So you gotta have the rice hit something, right? Yeah. So now you hold that, you use the funnel. You gonna hold the funnel? Yeah, it's a tube. <laughs> a tube, all right. And then we're gonna pour the rice in. You can already kind of hear it. Yeah, lift it up a little bit. Oh. All right, you can change the amount you put in there. Like I said, if you did beans or something, that might make a difference. Um, it all, all depends what you like it to sound like. Then we need to make sure we cover it up good so you guys don't end up with rice all over your living room floor. We also used a half a cup of rice. We did a half cup. You probably get away with a quarter cup if you wanted to, but we'll check it out. Um, and if you guys remember in the video, we actually did a memory verse too. That was Psalm 56.3. So um, once you get done with this part, go ahead and let's hear it. Uh, try yeah. just do it upside and there you go. All right, so whenever you're done, you can take some uh, markers, just regular Crayola markers, and write, when I am afraid, I put my trust in you, Psalm 56.3, and then color and decorate the outside of it. You can decorate it with some ribbon. Why don't you go ahead and start writing that on yours? Right. Um, you put some ribbon on it, you can decorate it however you want, um, but whenever you're all done, you'll have a rain stick that you can keep that will remind you that when you are afraid, you can put your trust in God. All right? Thanks for joining us during, what's it called? Crafty Time. During Crafty Time with Ben and Ben. And remember to check back on Sunday whenever we will have a video from this week's lesson. Thanks, guys.